lay the cornerstones in a spacious area at the foot of a hill. Trim the wood to make columns. And take some yellow soil from the field and smear it on the wall. Weave straw for the roof. And this is how a cozy thatched house is built. Built naturally with only the resources from nature. Thatched houses are the old houses of the future. People dream of living in a landmark. They want to feel superior by living in higher, fancier complexes. When will this kind of competition stop? It hasn't always been like this. Not so long ago, our villages were similar to nature in every way. The straw weaved roofs resembled the hills in the back. And the stone fences were one with the ground. The village houses always left their doors open, welcoming any guests. The low fences are half covered with some kind of vine. And the vegetable garden in the backyard is green year round. The ripe, large gourds on the roof and the soft persimmons dangling from branches complete the setting. The houses and the time-worn old villages change color each season. It's the aesthetics of thatched houses. Houses are private spaces, a safe haven. Thatched houses are functional, yet open to everything that it needs to be open to. Life in these houses is perpetually open to nature and the benefits that nature offers. Tuenjang, or bean paste, is fermented with the help of sunlight and wind. Chili peppers get a beautiful shade as they dry in the yard or on the roof. People who live in thatched houses maintain a healthy style of living thanks to photosynthesis, ventilation, and circulation of heat energy. The house is not an isolated space, but rather a connected, open space. These villagers are nestled in pockets of nature. Houses don't disappear. They only become trash. Once a warm and happy home to someone. becomes a cumbersome waste matter for everyone. We're talking about houses built today, which neglect the nature cycle. But the last moments of old thatched houses are different. Even when abandoned, they don't become trash. They go right back to nature from which they came. The soil from the ground, the rocks and stones from the valleys. The trees from the hills. And straw, a byproduct of the rice harvest. These materials make up the thatched house. 
All building materials come from nature. No forests or mountains are destroyed. Rocks become cornerstones and trees become columns. Loss from nearby hills or fields becomes sturdy walls when mixed with straw. Chogajibulchin the finishing material of a thatched house is rice straw. The straw from threshed rice is weaved into a roof. Villagers sit around and string new stories as they weave the straw into a new roof. Thatched houses undergo major renovations every three to four years. It's the replacing of the roofs. It's not a light process, but it doesn't necessarily cost a fortune. The only things required are straw left over from the year's rice harvest and the skills to weave them together. It's a bit dangerous task, taking place on top of a roof. But with the right members, it only takes one afternoon to replace an old roof with a new one. With the passing of time, thatched houses become worn and old. The walls built with soil show cracks and holes, and the roofs begin to rot. However, none of them become waste. They were all made with natural resources, so they go back to nature. The rotten straw that has fulfilled its duty as a roof goes back to the fields. It's not industrial waste, but natural fertilizer which fortify the ground. Thatched houses have roofs with a gradual curve and low eaves. The edge of the eaves are tied with straw ropes and bamboo. The walls consist of loess and stone or wood. It may look like there's a division between the inside and the outside, but only what is harmful is kept out, and everything beneficial is welcomed in. This Traditional thatched houses have no fences. All they have are loosely tied bush clover stems.
The empty spot in the fence is the entrance. There is no lock. This structure, which may seem poorly built, actually manifests the age-old philosophy of Koreans. The philosophy of communication that doesn't differentiate between you and I, between yours and mine. Sitting around in the yard sharing food, talking and communicating with neighbors. This is the basic philosophy of thatched houses. 서로 간에 이웃 간의 소통이 굉장히 그 이제 많이 되고 그렇습니다. 그 지나가면서 이렇게 담장 너머로 이렇게 쳐다보면은 아, 저 집에서 뭘 하는구나 또 보고. Maybe thatched houses are a symbol of an undecorated, comfortable way of life. Our ancestors built thatched cottages at the foot of a hill, befriending nature and neighbors, living the good life. I worked hard for 10 years and built this house. One room for me, one room for the moon, and one room for the blue wind. Without a room for the rivers and the mountains, they stay by the house. Thatched houses are old houses. They are humble houses built with the help of nature. However, they embody a happiness which cannot be replaced by the technology and abundance of the present age. A house which blends into its surroundings, circulates and communicates. Thatched houses are the old future that we dream of in the 21st century. <laughs>